This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got my co-host Robbie Hall back with me. How you doing, Robbie? Good. You and Kathy? I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. Now, who do you have with you today? Leanne. You have Leanne. Leanne. Excellent. The Leanne show is yours. And Amy. Oh, and Amy. Yeah, Amy's a nurse practitioner at the clinic. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks for joining us. Well, the show is yours, Robbie. Good. Good morning, Leanne, and thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. What What do you do at the Smith Falls Nurse Practitioner Lead Clinic? What do I do, or what do we do at the clinic in general? What do you do? So, uh, I work as the administrative lead. Um, the nurse practitioner led clinic here has a co-management model. So there's, there's two supervisors. Um, the nurse practitioner lead uh, couldn't be here with us today. Her name's Brenda Ludit Bunker and Brenda manages the clinical aspect of the clinic and I manage the administrative or business side of the clinic. That includes um, supervising the uh, administrative staff that are here. How long have you worked there? I've been here since May of 2012. Um, that's when the clinic opened. We went live May 29th, 2012. What is a nurse practitioner? Do you want to answer that? Sure. So uh, a nurse practitioner is a registered nurse who has completed additional education and training, and they work in lots of different settings. So the nurse practitioners here work in primary care. Uh, nurse practitioners can assess and diagnose and develop therapeutic care plans with clients. And we can also provide education and information about uh, health promotion and disease prevention. And we work with all the other staff here at the clinic, uh, the dietitian and social worker and pharmacist and respiratory therapist and the nurses and the admin staff, of course. How many non practitioners work now? So the clinic was awarded four full-time positions, but we have a couple of nurse practitioners who work part-time, so we have five. There are so many people looking for doctors or nurse practitioners. Do you have a waiting list? So we don't use a wait list. Um, the nurse practitioner led clinic, as well as some of the other healthcare organizations in the community use a service that's called Healthcare Connect. So people who are looking for a new healthcare provider can call their 1-800 number and they go through um, an information package with them and um, talk to them about um, the different healthcare models and um, work with that person to try and find them primary health care in their community. How, how many, many patients does this clinic have? So we have, I think, a little over 2,700 clients right now. You, you just celebrated your 10th anniversary. What, what has the last 10, 10 years been like? Well, it, it's kind of hard to believe that it's been 10 years. Um, a lot has changed over the last 10 years, especially um, with the nurse practitioner scope of practice. Uh, nurse practitioners were, I think, um, the, the program started in 1994, and initially nurse practitioners had a very narrow scope, which meant um, their College of Nurses um, only allowed them to um, 
prescribed certain medications for certain minor ailments. And now um, the nurse practitioner can uh, practice independently. They don't need to be supervised. They can provide um, full primary health care services or, or whatever um, other aspect they work in, whether it be hospital or things like that. Um, and coming July 1st, um, nurse practitioners are also going to be able to order um, MRIs. MRIs and C uh, CT scans. Yeah. yeah, so so they've gone from only being able to diagnose and assess a couple of things to being able to practice independently. It's been really gratifying um, to watch the nurse practitioners be able to um, work to their full scope because they're certainly capable. How, how do people get more information about the clinic? Well, we have a Facebook page, which you can follow. We also have a website um, where we've got uh, all kinds of information about the clinic. And there's also um, links to external services that we think might be helpful for people. Um, so our website is www.smithsfallsnursepractitionerledclinic.com. Um, thank you. And for joining us today, have a great day. Thanks, Robbie. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Robbie, for all that. Leanne, can I ask you, I, I, and Amy as well, too. I was at your 10th anniversary. You had a picnic in the back of your building there. And uh, it was just so well received by the community. I wish I was videotaping and not just taking pictures. There was a lady there that was so, so grateful for what you've done for her. Uh, and, and, and I'm hearing now, maybe Amy, you, could, you can talk about this. You're, you're being able to do more and more assessments, uh, be able to order MRIs and CAT scans. That must mean a lot to you when you hear people talk about that. It does, it does. It was uh, very nice to, that, that lady that you're talking about, it was very nice to hear her that day. It's always um, nice to be appreciated, obviously, but uh, it is, it's also very rewarding that um, we are being allowed to, to basically work to almost complete full scope of practice in primary care and uh, uh, change and grow each year. And it's just, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah Leanne, I know you've been there since they opened. How about you, Amy? How long have you been there? Uh, I've only been here for about three and a half years and two of those years were during the pandemic. So <laughs> there has obviously been a lot of change, but um, it's it's been very gratifying to see our clinic just be so flexible and adaptable. and. And, and we didn't have to close at all. We remained open throughout the pandemic. And um, I just, I think that this clinic, it's always trying to improve and, and change and grow and it's great. And, and, and again, you know, I reference being at your 10th anniversary, um, you had such a good sense of team there. You, you guys get along so well, you were having fun and uh, just the sense of team and, and you know, you've got each other's backs and you, you just know what you're doing is, is a good thing. I'm really glad that you were able to get that because that's that's the way it is here. It's really culture is really important to us, and, for sure. And you know, we just we have a great team here. Everybody works so hard, and they're just so flexible. Like Amy said, through the pandemic, people, the staff were just like, "What can we do?" You know, and their their main focus was making sure people were continued to be taken care of in the way that they needed it, and. Um, I just have been in awe many times with the staff just saying, you, you know, you guys are just so awesome. We're just so lucky to have a group of people where all the staff are like that. They're just, it's helping each other out in a real team-based environment. And that's wonderful. That's wonderful too. And, and Amy, you, I think you touched on quickly too, maybe it was you, Leanne, and when Robbie was talking to you, you have more than nurse practitioners there as well. You've got dietitians. I believe you've got social workers there. What, what else have you got available? Uh, so dietitian, social worker, pharmacist, respiratory therapist, uh, and our nursing staff as well, and then the admin staff. So I'm almost seeing it in my mind, too. They could see a nurse practitioner, and you could just refer them, I, I, I may be saying, across the hall to see a dietitian or, or to a respiratory person. I, it, yep. It's almost like you've got everything there, almost. 
We do, yeah. We can we can refer so they can see uh, the other allied healthcare professionals on a different visit, or sometimes we actually also have joint visits. So, for example, the diabetes team would be the pharmacist and the registered dietitian uh, working together to um, assess and manage and, and make recommendations for the client and, and give information and teaching. And it's a it's a great environment. We're lucky to have them. Oh, excellent, excellent. Well, before we wrap up, is there anything you'd like to say? Well, I, I'm just, we're looking forward to the next 10 years to see what happens. Excellent, excellent. Can you once again, oh, I'm sorry. I, thanks very much for having us. Oh, once again, can, can you tell people where you are and how to get a hold of you? So we're at the Smith Falls Nurse Practitioner Led Clinic. Um, you can see uh, links on our website or Facebook to uh, Healthcare Connect. If you don't have a primary healthcare provider, you can call them and um, they have a 1-800 number and you can talk to them and tell them that you don't have a, a care provider and they can they can send you our way if you if you specifically request that or they'll send you to a primary care provider that's close to you in your area excellent excellent well thank you very much amy and leanne for joining us today robbie once again thanks for the help today you're welcome <laughs>